Welcome to the next lecture on applications and challenges. Till now, we have seen the benefits of metal additive manufacturing and the market size how exponentially it is growing. In this lecture, we will try to see various segments or sectors how additive manufacturing are used. So, the applications were predominantly used in 1999, we were trying to talk about design verification, then we were trying to talk about rapid cooling and rapid, rapid casting and rapid tooling was the next, somewhere in 1999 to 2000 we have been talking about it. In 2000, aerospace and automobile parts where polymers were used came into existence, market was ready to make and it was, it was used in a full extent. Then uh, by 2010, you had this medical and dental implants which are made out of metals which found its place in real time usage. In 2012, you can see jewellery and clothing industry, film and aerospace started using additive manufacturing in a big way. Then uh, in food industry, today we are printing food, uh, we are uh, using additive manufacturing for as, as to print the icing layer, to print a complete cartoon figure, to make uh, the final product uh, into uh, a cookie or something like that. So, food industry has started using additive manufacturing and then in 2015, non-planar electronics uh, structures have been made out of additive manufacturing buildings today, 3D uh, rapid prototyping buildings are also constructed today. In 20, uh, 2020, you see biodegradable implants are made out of it. So, it is somewhere on about 2020. By 2040, we are hoping that full body organs and in situ bio, um, bio fabrication will happen, so that all the damaged parts of our body can be replaced by using additive manufacturing. But there, it is more polymer based, but I have put the entire spectrum of additive manufacturing which has played an important role from 1990s to 2040. If you look at it, fully adopted applications are all green, right? yellow is emerging application. For example, if you want to have a, a maybe a chicken piece exactly like this with some features like this, then the chicken is converted into a wire or into a powder and a liquid, then it is extruded, it is extruded through a food based additive manufacturing, it is printed and then it is either uh, taken for heat treatment or you get the final part. The cookies are today made to come in this form. So, food industry is coming up in a very, very big way. Okay. So, this is what uh, we are uh, looking at it. So, fully green, so design verification, rapid casting and uh, tooling, aerospace, medical application, clothing application, they are all fully adopted in use. Now, they are all in use. Uh, for example, uh, the gold industry, international gold industry use uh, material jetting process and uh, they print the wax patterns for our real time applications. So, when we look at the additive manufacturing based on component size, so if you look at this side, so you have powder bed fusion, okay. so you can see in the y axis you will have complex features with high resolution and at the bottom you have moderate to simple features with low resolution. Resolution here we talk about, so I can convert in terms of R A. Okay. This is poor RA, low RA, this is good RA or high RA, right, good. Low RA means or uh, yeah, low RA or I will convert this into, so you can, it will be easy. So, I will uh, convert it into high RA value, 
and I will make it this into low RA value, high RA value, low RA value. So, here if you look at it, so if you want moderate to simple features with low resolution can be built uh, by using wire fed DED, directed energy deposition. I told you wire can be used. If you want to have complex features with minimum, then you can go for powder. You can also use the binder jetting, where in which this the number of parts produced will be very less and powder bed fusion method can be used, where the component size becomes smaller, but you get a low RA highly complex features to meet out to the requirements. There is always a trade off between RA versus uh, component size, component size, there is always a trade off component number, number or quantity, then cost. Okay. So, you can replace this RA with densification etcetera, etcetera, etcetera. So, here fully dense parts are produced here, highly dense, fully dense parts 100 percent, highly dense parts 99 to 99.9 .9 are done here, low dense parts are done uh, between 70 to 95. So, here this is what we are doing. So, binder jetting you will always get low dense part, highly dense part you get, uh, dense parts you get in 99.5 to 99.9, you get it in this powder bed fusion method and the fully dense part 100 percent you get through wire and powder fed DED. So, some of the applications which we would uh, like to see for our uh, uh, interest. So, one is additive manufacturing in medical industry and dental industry, medical crowns uh, have been printed joint imp implant printed by, uh, by, by process E L F P. Then you can see functionally graded. So, here it is dense, here it is loose, loosely packed, loosely packed. So, here again it is a functionally graded strength, functionally graded strength material or functionally graded uh, properties are there, strength properties. So, here it can take toughness, here it can take maybe load. So, functionally graded porous titanium load bearing hip implant printed by uh, la laser based powder bed fusion method. Okay. So, I will write it here laser, you will see this process laser powder bed fusion method. So, here E is nothing but electron beam. See there are only few heat sources, it can be laser, it can be electron, it can be plasma. So, you can use it. So, by and large electron and, uh, and uh, laser are used today. So, by using electron beam, they have printed the ribs. So, all these things have been printed and now few trials are going on. Some of the big companies internationally are all already into market for producing it. So, here they do lot of mass customization to meet out to the customer's need. So, this is for uh, aerospace, a conformal cooling system or a cooling channel generated or is fabricated inside this structure. Then conformal and lattice structure to improve heat dissipation is done for automobile applications. So, you can see for defense and aerospace industry, metal print, additive manufacturing are finding lot of applications. In defense, there will be complex jobs. So, complex job in the sense complex, complex size, shape and features are there. So, all these things can be integrated and you should also understand the volume is, is low. So, if you want to have a, a, a break between all these things, then additive metal manufacturing becomes your only way out. 
So, next in terms of communication, it is a small size, lightweight, one piece additive manufactured antenna. This is exhaustively used. Today, there are conformal antennas. which are three dimensional is being made. So, earlier they used to make it planar, now they are making it three dimensional. Additive manufacturing in heavy industries, additive manufacturing in heavy engineering uh, industry, you can see here hydraulic, several hydraulic uh, valves are getting manufactured in one, one go. So, you will have so many channels which are getting integrated. So, you can see all these things are made out of metal. Uh, additive manufacturing which plays a very important role in oil and gas industry. So, I would say that instead of heavy engineering, you can make, make it also additive manufacturing in energy based uh, engineering applications. Next, when we look at the automotive, so such complex jobs, small thin features can be, uh, can be printed. Okay. So, Ford customized anti theft wheel lock being printed by powder bed fusion system. Then Ford customized anti theft, uh, you can also have wheel locks, it is customized. So, if you have to customize, you have to use automotive uh, uh, metal additive manufacturing. Then custom titanium door handle frame with DS3 dark side addition from DS automotive is done using the uh, additive manufacturing applications. When we talk about uh, industrial tooling and uh, other applications, AM can be used to produce machinery components, heat exchangers, engineering structures either for redesigned part or low volume production for heritage purpose. So, machinery components can be used. Recently, our aerospace industry, they approached us in redesigning and fabricating a metal part which is used in our fighter jet planes. The industry abroad, they are now closed, so they wanted somebody to manufacture. We designed it and now it is under testing. So, if you want to produce machinery components, heat exchangers, engineering structures either for redesigning parts or for row production then add metal additive comes in a big way. Mass customization, very, very important word, mass customization promotes the expanding use of metal additive manufacturing in decorative objects, industry, jewelry, sports and bicycle framing. Everywhere this additive metal additive manufacturing is being used, AM designs free form material graded structures, light weighting and the quick design to market cycle with revolutionized industrial and personal product markets. So, this is a very important point which consolidates everything, design free form, materially graded structures, light weight, quick to design, quick to design cycle uh, with revolutionizing industry and personal product market. So, some of the challenges till now, I have been showing only the green part of it. Some of the major challenges in additive manufacturing or in particular metal additive manufacturing is qualified material. So, we have standards and uh, these standards have to be maintained. So, the products which are produced, the powder, the wire which are produced to maintain up to the standard even today is a challenge. For pure materials it is ok, alloys of mixed composition it is still a challenge. So, qualified material is a big challenge which is in front of us because we know additive manufacturing is going to be the future, but the input raw material qualifying is a big challenge. The speed and the productivity of these machines are as of today low. In Europe, there are big 
giants who are working with the uh, technical universities in developing high speed and high productive additive manufactured machines to meet to customer demands. Repeatability and quality assurance is also a problem for metals and ceramic materials because if there are voids inside then it becomes say for wired inside means you have a part there is a wired there is a very small wired okay assume this whatever i have done is around about 100 micron by 100 micron cross section so in this you see voids so removing these voids uh, or trying to optimize and get parameters such that these voids are not there uh, is a major challenge even today so repeatability and quality assurance is a big challenge and where in which there is lot of opportunities for developing tools, process optimization, deep learning understanding, machine learning understanding. Industry wise standards are still in a nascent stage. Many of the standards are just tweaked little bit to meet out to the requirements, but industry wide standards are still not established. End to end workflow integration and automation is not truly done. For example, we have done CAD after CAD pushing it into the machine without uh, any error and then getting it printed then doing post processing and getting the final product required that is not still complete integration and automation has not happened in the workflow. Software has lot of limitations when we start looking into the tessellations uh, there are between the layers coming then there are tessellation intersecting so so many software limitations are there today there are errors there are few custom built softwares but they are pretty expensive to come to the open domain so software limitation is one then initial financial investment metal additive manufacturing in indian costs they range from 1 crore to if you are looking for an industrial worth fast production means it goes up to 10 CR, 1 CR to 10 CR that is the typical cost. So, 1 CR uh, means it is 100 lakhs. So, if you divide it by 80, so that will be in USDs. Okay. Then security is also a problem. So, whatever we try to have a CAD and uh, this uh, today machines are connected with a vendor like cloud and then they also try to give online um, suggestions, inspection of the machines, all these things they do. Security is also a big challenge wherein which when we talk about cyber uh, security for producing parts, this is also a major challenge, cyber security. Then skilled set of labors are even now not available people who start producing this additive manufactured parts, they just replace from a conventional part to an additive manufacturing part, but they have not used the fullest extent of doing topology optimization, increasing, uh, reducing the weight and increasing the strength is not thought. So, topology optimization, deep learning, machine learning, software understanding, process uh, to produce having good repeatability and quality assurance all these things need lot of skill currently it lags. So, these are some of the challenges and these challenges can be converted into an opportunity for you. So, I have given all these material what are also qualified material you can see uh, with metal additive system including laser, electron beam, binder based as difficulty in getting the metals. Then there are more than 1000 steel alloys are commercially accessible, uh, but uh, only a handful of them are uh, validated by additive manufacturing, same with aluminum alloys. Then uh, qualified material, I have already explained uh, in length, so I just move forward. Then speed and opportunity, I have said mass production speeds are modest. So, small working volumes and post processing of surface enhances the step. So, then speed I have already discussed in length. So, I am leaving it for you to read. 
so repeatability and reliability. So, we are nowadays looking for closed loop control system. So, in the closed loop control system, we are looking at environmental conditions like temperature uh, around and the dust around. So, industrial wide standards, there are uh, the several key players that have uh, several key players have identified the challenges and begun to act on it. So, they have now come up with ASTM standard, ANSI standard, ISO standard. These are some of the standards which are now coming into existence, which are getting honed and polished for meeting out to AM standards. So, ASTM F, F42 committee is created, uh, is creating standards for metal additive manufacturing. Creating standards could assist the industry to analyze the system performance and the part quality. Despite these efforts, new and dependable standards are still needed. Con concurrent standards should be published rather than particularly creating ones with shortcomings. If standards are, are repeatedly uh, re retract and amended owing to the weakness the industry will suffer. So, if standards are repeatedly retracted and amended then industry will suffer from, uh, from producing. I have discussed about end to end flow then uh, fully designed for additive manufacturing this is for you to learn. Then software limitations also has been covered. So, here the quality of the information and transmission mechanism affects the inter and intra communicationable and collaboration in additive manufacturing. So, initial finance has been discussed, then security cyber physical in nature. So, this is there. So, distributed manufacturing hackers are also coming in. So, they try to weaken the system. Security I have talked about uh, the solving security problems process supply chain must be firewalled. Skill set we have discussed in length. So, these are some of the challenges and opportunities. So, points to ponder AM process and ASTM definition. Can you just look into draft it and you do not have to submit to me make the classifications and then you can also try to see the ASTM standards. Importance of AM and its major classification which we have seen you can try to add some more. Try to look at different sectors apart from what I have I have spelt it out here uh, to, to uh, find out the fields where metal additive manufacturing can be done. Challenges and opportunities in metal additive manufacturing I have already spelt it out. If you can add some more just by going through the literature. These are something which you should look forward to enrich your horizon. So, AM processes and ASTM definition, importance of AM in your own words apart from whatever I have discussed, then major classification, applications in different se sectors apart from whatever I have spelt it out, challenges and opportunities in metal additive manufacturing. So, assignment Google and make a list of 7 major categories of additive manufacturing process, their advantage and limitation. Then point out AM process which can manufacture metal parts like spoon, hydraulic valve, heart valve. Okay. So, you just do Google search and try to figure out what is the process they use and you can see some videos and understand these spoons are for eating. Okay. This is used in the um, cosmetic industry or aesthetic industry. Thank you very much.